Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizon. Uh can't remember what episode it is, but a happy Monday for everybody. Hope everybody's doing okay. Uh it's actually October the 28th when y'all are watching this and I'm recording the Friday before. But folks, today, as you can see, top right, we got cloud and then we got rain clouds behind that again. And the ground is still moist. But I'm going to go ahead and rip. We're going to go ahead and rip and fertilize this. Because we got to get it ready for cotton. Y'all been anxious to see this. So, yeah. Now oh, this thing is warming up. Let me go ahead and start this fertilized sprayer. So it'll open up. <laughs> open up. <laughs> so it'll warm up too. Whoa. I, can I fit through here? I'm out. I'm out. I can't. I'm hung. Oh, I'm hung. Okay, I can't fit through there, so let's open this door. And I guess somebody left that door open. I right, fired this bad boy up. Alright, we'll pull it out. We're loaded with fertilizer. I had to. Well, actually, I think I'm going to leave it here. Just pull the, out just a little bit more that way. Well, yeah, that should work. Smoke stacks outside the building. All right, let's go ahead and get this one going. We'll put somebody on it. I'm going to start over here by the tree. I, I'm, of course... Y'all you know I owe my uncle seven million dollars, and uh, we're supposed to pay some of that back uh, when we get the harvest done. Well, I got thinking since we know for sure we can do cotton, I want to buy another field and get it planted in cotton. But I, I just I, I don't know. All right, let's uh, make sure we're going straight here. About right, get right there. Want to hire a worker? And let's see. I can't see it from there. All right, Franz is driving that. I don't know who Franz is, but we're going to see if he does a good job. Um. We gotta go get the planter and stuff ready. I'm hoping it dries out a little bit so we can plant. I don't know if it will. Oh, it looks like somebody already filled it. Yeah, they did. Okay. So we're down to a pallet and a few bags. Um. Yeah. So we got uh, let's see. Fire this baby up to you. Let it be warming up. And you see up there, or day or air temp is 62 and the ground temp is 59. So it's getting about close to point cotton anyway, even though we do have a couple of test spots over there. Um, let's see what it is. Yeah, there you go. Uh, post rain at 9 o'clock and then at 2100 hours. And again, in a Thursday, or well, Thursday sometime. But Friday and Saturday, we got sunshine, so hopefully it'll dry out. But it's good drying potential all the way through here, even though it is showing rain. So, I, I don't know when we're going to actually get, but cotton. Well, I got like five days. Maybe somewhere in there. And of course, my phone. I see. Let's go ahead and pick this up and fold it up. That way, we can get this door closed, seeds back on the truck. And yeah, it's this field here behind us that this lot and stuff sits on. 
of a guy that has it is wanting to sell it to somebody that will not let this lady stay in this house. This older lady, she uh, has people come out and take care of the house and stuff for her, but she's afraid that the other guy that owns this ground is going to kick her off. So I want to go ahead and buy it and uh, give her right away to live there until she passes. I uh, don't want to say it that way, but, you know, that's, that's what it is. She can live there for free. Uh, right now, she's paying rent. So, you know, she's an elderly lady. She's got people watching out for her. As long as she keeps that house up, I don't mind she's living there for free. Now, some people need to do that. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, friends, where are you? you down at the far end? Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, fertilized buggy out. And uh, I guess I could go spray some of our other fields. Got some grass fields we need to spray. So folks, I will bring y'all back here in a minute, okay? Well, actually in a second couple hours for me but a second for you all right up here in the market shop we're fixing by another uh spreader not done the whole thing we took our spreader off and uh we're fixing by this spreader here for sixty thousand two hundred seven. yep that, yep that's what we did we're gonna uh, go across from or well, down the road here to the uh Oh, I can't even think of it. The place where we mowed, got the grain tanks. Or co op place. Yeah, co op. We can go down there and fill it up. And we got a fertilized field four. I think it's field four. Uh, let's see here, real quick. Let's go to our map. Of course, you can see right here before. I'm glad I did click. We got one fort, uh, one fourteen seventy eight. 4 and 11 and 81. We are, uh, uh, it's still 11. We got somebody in and we're fixing to get filled 4 because it's right here. And we're going here to fill up with fertilize. And uh, Fran's still doing that one, so we're going to pop back in. We're going to do a couple of fertilize missions and uh, make us some money and hopefully buying this buggy. And doing these contracts, we can make enough money to buy that field. And then we can go town on it, getting it pre prepped for cotton. And we should have some good prices for cotton, hopefully. They're saying so, so I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, that was 17600 for the price to fill that up. And that was... 10,000 liters. So we're going to do the math on that here in a minute. We're going to get him started. And then uh, we're going to go in the menu shop and see what it's going to cost. Do that by buckets or pallets, I mean. Uh, they say it's cheaper by getting it by bulk. So we'll see here in a second. All right, we're parking the truck here and folding the pipe. We got, let's see, one's on field four. On the other side of that, kind of somewhere. And the other's in this field right here. Uh, probably on the far end because I don't see them. But they're there. You look at the map. Betty's on one, Phillip's on the other, and friends are on the ripper. So, yeah. I got to walk back. Maybe I caught, catch friends and ride back with him to my truck and then go from there. But right, let's go in here real quick. As you can see, uh, Bill and Betty's doing all right. We get them done. Let's see, 11 and 4 is going to bring us 33,000 for 11, and 4 is going to bring us 31,000. So. 
that right there will pay for the body of the spreader because it was like 60,000 so and then we have uh, these two an 81 81 50,000 and we'll almost have the money to buy that field so without going in the hole so far I didn't have to buy from the bank nothing or get a loan from the bank we're still running off the money that we got although you know oh my uncle said million so and our, our fields I'm gonna try to spray here 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 and here get these this color blue and all that be ready and our grass fields are growing pretty good let's see if I can move that over to get a our grass fields there so probably about the second stage where it looks so won't be too much longer on that so yeah it's coming along pretty good now let's just go in here and check out cotton prices look at that folks that's a lot of money for cotton a lot of money or wool ain't too bad that ain't too bad at all we'll catch that going up and then we'll look at our wood chips are a little low we might have to get a, a bin or something to put them in to store them until the prices go up or something or a great demand for it or something and I don't know is it sugar cane to get sugar we gotta check that out. We got uh, sugar and bread that we can do. But uh, I think it's sugar beets that we do sugar off of. It's this thing we have to look at. Well, I'll be right back with some more. Um, let me get these two fields sprayed and see where we're at, and then I'll come back then. All right, folks. Be right back. All right, this guy's got finished, and the other guy got finished, and we moved him to field 81. Uh, we're going to go ahead and top this guy off here. I'm having a little trouble getting under the pipe. There we go. That wouldn't work out on the thing there. It was too hilly. kept on pushing me off. And I... As I was fixing to say before the auto save, uh, Elizabeth is an 81. Phil 4 is done. Phil 11 is done. We're going to have cash out on them. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, 4 is 31,555. We're going to collect that. Phil 11 was 33,022. Collect that. Now we have three more left. 81, which we're in. 78 and 14. Okay, so 78 and 14. Looks like we're full. Let's see where we we'll go real quick. Uh, there's 81. 78. Where is 78? Yeah, I'm probably saying it's right there, but. Oh, right there. Okay. Not too far. Uh, 78 and what was the other one? 80, 78 and yeah 81 okay 81 there's 78 and my blind there's 80 I don't see it folks do y'all 87 88 wait <laughs> duh there's 81 forget about 81 because Elizabeth's in it. Yeah, so it's 78 and 114. 114. 115. 114. Oh my goodness, is way over there. All right, we're going to go with 78 and get 114 last. So, uh, yeah. I will uh, see y'all over there. But that's going to be a long drive. Get my. 
beacon zone and my hazards and we're gonna go I get somebody to bring the truck later all right shut my GPS off so I accidentally trigger something and turn the wrong way all right folks I'll meet you over there all right sorry about that I went ahead and put the spreader in the field and uh, noticed that our friends didn't know how to do around the water here so yeah we're gonna have to do that for them set the water out in the field there ain't no big yeah nothing's gonna start them on the far side let them work way he can let them work way he can on that end and then I'll get them afterwards probably off screen but uh, yeah just wanna pop in and show you a little bit of this plow here so I really don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. You can't really see it back here, can you? Hmm. Let's go outside then. Get a little zoom in here. I like it. it it's slow. It's nine mile an hour, but hey. We do have a... I really don't know which one I got of this, you know? I think I got second to the smallest. I really don't know. I see no car coming. Uh, no car coming. I don't know if I actually got the updated map of uh, Midwest where, because that water is supposed to rise and fall. Of course, it's been rain that's, you know, what all. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just plow across here. And, um, yeah. Let me check out oh, the big map here. You can see Elizabeth is in 81 and Betty is in 78. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna get to. I think when they get done with that, I'm gonna hop one of them over in this and just get it caught up, like spray around or something in it before we do more mission or contracts. That way I can get a cultivator out here and get started. We'll probably just use one of the big tractors since it's already hooked up to one. Uh, my other. I don't know. This and they'll do what we gotta do. That that field there, I don't think it needs nothing but planting, fertilizing, and planting. So I'll probably get the planter started in it. But I don't know if that'll be in the next episode or not. Cause that's really all we got to do is contracts and planting cotton. Uh, I really like to wait a little bit before we do plant till that moisture symbol goes away. What I'll probably do is go ahead and plant some today in the far side over next to the woods. Let's see if I can get lined up here and go ahead and hire him or her. And we got Andy. All right, let's see where we go from here. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is better. This is better right here. Hop out. Got a little lag. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of lag in this shot. I have to keep my head down just to get out of it. Sometimes that don't work. I don't know it's really what's causing it, but run over here, open this shop door up. But folks, I will be back in a second. All right, I um, got the cultivator over here. Now he's still going, so it's a good thing. Got to do across this end also. He's leaving just a little bit right where that tree was, but that's all right. Let's see. Go ahead and shut my flashers off. Uh, beacons off. This big boy going to take up a lot of room, so I'm just going to. 
pull it past this tree right here a little bit. Actually, well, yeah. There's a spot down here that just turns around, but I'm not going to go that far. Alright, this will work. We can just back up. That way the spreader can still spray. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'm going to bring you back in a little while, folks, because it's going to take a lot more time for them getting done with those fields. Let's go in here and check see where they're at. All right. Uh, 70, field 78 is only 9%, and field 81 is 30%. So it's going to take a while for them to get going. Could plant some, but I don't know. Sowing, I bet it's, oh, it's corn. That ain't bad. Borrow his tractor for 6000 That's a good price, so. Cultivating jobs ain't that much, but, yeah. Anyway, um, there goes my phone again. Field 10 is 235.918. We get these three fields done. I should be close to that prize, price, and uh, I'm thinking about doing that. But it might be off screen. So when we come back next time, next episode, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some work in it. I don't know exactly what all I'll do or show. It all depends on the the weather and stuff. So. Uh, this guy down here, I'm gonna have to watch him. Because he's going to be getting in that water. I don't know if he's going to turn around or what. But yeah. So I don't know. Uh, uh oh. What are you doing, baby? I bet there's water there. Let's go visit Betty. This almost looks like alfalfa in a way. I don't know what it is. Let's get over here and see what's going on. Am I not way on down? Yeah, I just missed it. There is nothing here that would make her skip, but oh well. I really don't know why she done that, but hmm. I guess we got 81 done faster. I'm just going to let her be, I guess, and see what happens. She goes all the way down the end. I'll probably just scoot her back over. But, folks, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. It's getting kind of long, about 23 to 25 minutes in, to give or take, uh, taking the the saves out of it, the auto saves, I usually cut them out and might cut some other things out. But there's the other one over there spraying. And has this one's done past the point of turn where it turned around, so it might go all the way down the end. Now I get it back in field 78. Good thing I got GPS. I might have to do this myself. But anyway, um, yeah, this is Monday, so tomorrow is supposed to be Long Oak, but I do have a couple episodes of, I don't forgot what it's called, Ravenport. Yeah, the, the first map I started playing, I do have a couple episodes of it, and I want to get back into that too, but I don't want to get everything mixed up, having three maps going, so... What would you want me to do? Have like three days of Long Oak, three days of that's that's not gonna be right. I don't know. I'll I'll figure something out. This uh tomorrow may or may not be Long Oak. It all depends. Where are you going, dude? You went way out there. That's 
Somebody else is feeling. Okay. D higher. We, we just fired him. Now, did I have... Yeah, GPS. Good. They locked on that. No. Got to go over here. And that's probably why right there. Okay. Let's see what we're doing now. Hmm. That's weird. It's leaving a little piece of a line there, but oh well. Anyway, folks. Uh, yeah, I don't know what tomorrow's going to actually do with Ravenport or Long Oak. So, if I get a chance to record, I'll do Long Oak. If I don't, I'll just insert the Ravenport video so I can get caught up on them. Cause it's almost time to do cotton on them also. So. Anyway, appreciate all y'all comments. I love each and one of you. Every ugh. I love each and every one of y'all. I'm getting tongue tied. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, I will see y'all next episode. Okay, folks. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I'll see you later.